Hi there, come on in. Today, I want to talk with you about CoQ10. What is it and how is it helpful to boost egg quality and improve fertility health and increase your chances of becoming pregnant so you can become a mom? Let's get into it. So CoQ10, first of all, what is it? It's a natural occurring compound that's found in pretty much all cells in the human body every tissue, every organ, all of that. And we need it because we need energy production within our mitochondria. And it also functions as an antioxidant. So I'm sure you hear all the time because you're doing the research, you're in here. We need antioxidant protection, especially with fertility. So let's look at its role and the potential benefits in relation to fertility and egg quality, how to boost your egg quality. Because possibly your doctor said, mm, you gotta work on the quality of your eggs. And maybe he's probably told you that that takes 90 days. That sounds like a long time, but honestly, to be able to work on diet, I've got that in other videos, so check those out. But I wanted to hone in on CoQ10 specifically. CoQ10, we need ATP primary energy carrier within all the cells. What happens is we need significant amount of energy, especially like heart, muscles, that kind of thing, but for fertility. And as I said, it's got antioxidant function. Well, why do we need antioxidants? And why would we need to add in CoQ10? Well, CoQ10 is one of the functions is it neutralizes harmful free radicals and therefore it's protecting your cells from oxidative stress. Well, what are all the free radicals? Well, we're talking like toxins in the environment, in your home, outside, in your foods, chemicals. That creates oxidative stress on our body and it gives us a lot of work to like process that. So right now, if you're trying to get pregnant, we want your body to focus on getting you pregnant. And if it's bogged down, trying to get toxins out of your body, then it's taken the attention away. It impacts your egg cells. And we want them to be just like these little queens, just like sitting on a little pillow. We wanna do everything we can to boost this egg quality. Okay, so let's look at CoQ10 and fertility and egg function and egg improvement. So egg cells are rich in mitochondria and the function is essential for proper maturing and division of eggs. Since CoQ10 is vital for mitochondrial energy and production, adequate levels are necessary for egg health. That makes sense, right? And one thing, especially in my clinic, I work with women, a lot of like all different ages of women trying to get pregnant. But when we talk about egg quality, that tends to impact women are considered AMA, advanced maternal age is 35 plus. Okay, so as women age, both the quantity but quality also of your eggs tends to decline. And research shows that CoQ10 levels in the body do decrease with age. There is some evidence that suggests that CoQ10 supplementation can mitigate the decline and especially improve egg quality in women that are 35 plus. That stinks that that's happening, but hey, we have a tool that we can use to help you boost your egg quality. Studies on CoQ10 and fertility show that supplementation with CoQ10 can enhance mitochondrial function in eggs, and this can lead to improved egg quality overall because it's enhancing the energy production and again, reducing oxidative damage to the egg cells. So that's a win-win. And something else is the potential impact. If you're using IVF or FET, to get pregnant, then some research indicates that CoQ10 supplementation may positively affect outcomes with IVF. And while this research is promising, of course we need bigger population samples to run these studies so we can dial in, I would say specifically how much. You can go to a fertility clinic and get a quality checked, but what I would say is there's something that you can do right away. Yes, you can go get a supplement, but you need to know how much you need to take and it just depends on the person. And what I would recommend is starting to add in, there's certain foods that are really high in CoQ10. 
So consider them. Probably not all of them are going to sound amazing to you, but you want to look at like organ meats. If you eat meat, specific kidney and liver is high in CoQ10. Fatty fishes, sardines, salmon, trout, and mackerel. Out of all those so far, I'm going to go with salmon. <laughs> and I'm going to put some kale, some steamed kale and asparagus on the side. <laughs> but other meats that you could choose from are chicken, beef, pork. And again, like not massive portions, but like palm of your hand and make sure they're good quality, right? Because of oxidative stress, you don't want to get meats or eat meats that have hormones. Yeah, all the toxins in them. Look for like, organic meats when you can and try to go, you know, eat locally. Buy meats locally if that's an option for you. And let's look at, I mentioned some vegetables, but spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, and of course, be mindful if you've got some kind of like digestive or like IBS or something like that, then broccoli and cauliflower can be a little bit rough. You'll need to look at some other options. And then we're also looking at fruits, strawberries and oranges are high in CoQ10. And then some oils just depends again if you have sensitivity, but soybean oil, canola oil, and some legumes are soybeans, lentils, and peanuts. Again, like I have to say this with all the foods, but like check with your doctor and just make sure, you know, obviously if you've got allergies, it's not worth eating the peanuts if you've got an allergy to them. And then nuts and seeds, pistachios, oh, they're my favorite, and sesame seeds. That's just to give you some ideas, but like think about that, like, oh, okay, cool. So now I know I can have high quality salmon. Make sure your, your resource or your source of fish is trustworthy. Salmon two, three times a week, and on the side of that, you can put on some spinach or broccoli or, you know, have a dessert that has strawberries in it. But that's just to get you started. I hope this video is helpful for you. My name is Dr. Gina and I help women and couples to get pregnant with holistic and natural medicine. Whether you're 100% natural or you're also adding in IVF, I can help you increase the quality of your eggs. Please do me a favor and just like, like, and subscribe and then I know that you want to see more content like this and I will create it for you. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.